As we head into the weekend, COVID is running free reign in Florida. We just ripped off six straight days, shattering hospitalization records, and cases are higher than they have ever been before. Just look at the CDC's case chart. This is the worst we've ever seen. No other one-week period in Florida has been worse than what we just went through. 134,000 new cases in the last week. That's according to the latest report from the state. Florida has the highest number of hospitalizations per capita nationwide, according to Johns Hopkins. Our 12,864 COVID patients is higher than we've ever seen, up from last summer's peak of 10,000. Patient counts have jumped nearly 600% in just seven weeks. And deaths, we added 616 from last week to this one. It's heartbreaking. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo took the new reports to experts for a deeper dive on why they believe this may not get better for a while. A wave four times bigger than any previous surge. All the indicators are pointing for this to be the largest um, wave of infection that we've ever seen. That's what doctors with USF Health are expecting in Florida. Dr. Tom Unash says the state continues hitting new pandemic highs. We're going to be facing a uh, situation when we could really overwhelm our uh, hospital system. 12,864 people in the state are hospitalized for COVID-19 after reporting 22,783 cases on Friday, Florida is halfway to the largest daily increase expected in September. We anticipated this. It's not as if we were naively thinking. Mathematical modeler Dr. Edwin Michael forecasted the trajectory of viruses for the World Health Organization. His most recent data shows Hillsborough County will peak at the end of August, reporting nearly 4,300 cases daily. The state of Florida's peak dramatically larger. We'll see anywhere from 41 to 52,000 cases a day. If we were to ramp up vaccinations right now, what would happen? Not to the coming wave. It's far too late. Increased vaccinations won't stop the surge, but should cut the wave short. We'll start to see a really steep drop off in the daily case numbers. But for now, the latest report from the state shows the number of people getting a COVID shot is down. We are so close to herd immunity. Don't let it, you know, don't mess it up. So much sacrifice that people have lost their jobs. Why are we willing to jeopardize everything?